Hello guys, we are live! So how are you today? I hope that you're having a great time and that you are ready for this unexpected episode of Expoiler, the English lesson that walks you through the corners of the city of Expo 2020 Dubai. So I know that this live was unexpected, unannounced, so not in the calendar. I know everything. I had just finished my orientation experience training at the Expo 2020 site. I'm walking home. I am gonna walk for like 20 minutes. And so I decided to have a live lesson so that I can share with you what I have seen today. Some. Uh, anticipations let's say about Expo 2020 and in the meantime I can walk with you now I'm walking home so that's why I just wanted to take this occasion to have a live in the meantime let me see it's Friday it's Friday evening what are you doing I cannot see still the comment I think I will see the comment very the comments very very soon here it's 9 something, 9.30 or almost 10 p.m. And I have completed my orientation training at the Expo. This morning I shared with you a, a screenshot of the email that I received where it was written that I was not allowed to share images or videos. In fact, on my Instagram page, I just shared super briefly stories where I was just showing some uh, instant scenes because we were not allowed to, to share any kind of, I mean, content because the Expo site is still under construction. I mean, they are still finishing it. So it is not possible at the moment to convey any kind of image. But let me see if I see some comments. Oh, not yet, unfortunately. I see that there are six people live, seven now. Wow, great to be unexpected and to be Friday evening. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I also hope that I can see the comments very, very soon. Ah, okay, now I see Simona, Rosa, hi. So nice to see you. Okay, so what can I tell you about Vanessa, hi, about this uh, experience of today? So, just a couple of information that maybe not everybody knows. First of all, really it's gonna be something amazing. The UAE are getting ready to welcome the world. 191 countries are gonna be hosted in Expo 2020 Dubai. And really the, the main mission, the main goal is to welcome the world and open our arms and our culture and our hospitality to to the world. So this is basically the main mission. The motto of Expo 2020 will be connecting minds, creating the future. I don't know if anybody remembers the motto of Expo 2015 that was hosted in Milan. Does anybody remember? The motto of 2015 Expo was feeding the planet energy for life. This was the motto of the expo that uh, was held in Milan. The motto of Dubai's expo will be connecting minds, creating the future. And the main values that will be, let's say, shared through Dubai Expo will be free. Opportunity, mobility and sustainability. So if uh, I mean, if you are talking to anybody talking about the expo, what you should know is, first of all, the motto that in our case this year is connecting minds, creating the future and the values that are opportunity, mobility and sustainability. So these are the three. What does it mean, the values? I mean, what does it mean that the exposition has values? It means that the exposition has the final goal to understand how to create opportunities, how to provide a sustainable environment that meets technology and innovation, and 
mobility, how to uh, encourage the mobility, the movement of people, of goods, of uh, human beings around the world. So these will be the three main topics that will be discussed at Expo 2020 Dubai. Today we had the chance to assist preview of uh, uh, a lot of performances, very, very nice performances. And uh, uh, we met uh, some of the organizers uh, of the of, um, people coming from the management, so the, some executives who encouraged us, uh, reminded us the values and the standards that we keep, we have to keep in mind. Also the standards that we have to respect during our activity at Expo 2020 are really very interesting. Uh, uh, we, people working at Expo 2020, are called Expo Hearts. And uh, uh, in order to be the Expo Heart, we have to be heroes. But this acronym HERO stands for the standards of uh, Expo 2020. This HERO the, 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 the all the letters of the word hero have a specific meaning. For example, H stands for hospitable. So we have to be able to give our warmest welcome to the entire world coming to Dubai. Uh, e stands for exceptional. We have to do our best in order to excel in what we are doing, giving this warm welcome to the guests coming to Dubai. R stands for responsible, because we are, as Expo heroes, are going to represent Expo, but also the UAE. So we have to remember that we have this responsibility. And finally, O stands for optimistic. So we have to be optimistic and we have to share our optimism to everyone, everybody because we have to keep in mind that it's very important that we deliver the best experience ever. So it has been really very inspiring and also because it is always very, very useful to have the chance to have this kind of confrontation with big events big realities that can always teach you something. So really, it has been a very, very nice experience today. And I wanted to share with you something about, uh, I mean, the behind the scenes, because we have less than one month to come. So uh, really, the, the, the expo is going to start very, very soon, October the 1st. And uh, today is uh, September the 3rd. So time, time is running. And so that's it. This was my, my Friday full of events. And then maybe if you follow my Instagram page and if you don't follow, I do recommend you to follow it. I tried for the very first time the metro here in Dubai. It was the first time because uh, since I moved, I have never used the metro because we bought a car. So usually we use the car. But I used the metro for the very first time and it has been very nice because, uh, I mean, what I usually tell to my friends and it's very hard for them to understand is that uh, one of the best value that I think that I have encountered in here is the value of safety. You always feel safe here. Even if you don't know where you are, it's night, you are alone, you are a woman, for example, in my case, and you are in the middle of nowhere you never feel in danger, never. And uh, so I decided to try the metro for the first time, if it, even if it was uh, 9.30 p.m. and I was alone and I had no clue about where I was going. I decided to use the metro and it has been a nice experience. I mean, super clean. All the people were super kind and gentle. And uh, then in the end, I managed to come back home. In fact, now I'm already walking in my community. I will be home in some minutes. So I managed to, to come home using the metro, even if uh, I had no clue about where I was going. <laughs>
because it was the very first time. Okay, so just see if there are other comments. Gilda is writing, I'm glad that you had a great experience. Thank you so much, Gilda. Great, thank you. I saw, I received a lot of positive feedbacks about uh, the live lesson that we had uh, last uh, week. No, sorry, not last week, last uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday. And uh, I am very happy that you liked it, that you liked the movie, you liked the way I used the movie to teach the language. It was very fun. I do uh, like the fact that you liked it. So uh, I, for sure, I will replicate the same type of lesson in the next future. For sure, I will replicate because uh, it has been really, really super fun also for me. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to say hello and now goodbye in this uh, Friday evening. Now, I mean, I'm almost black because uh, here there are no super bright lights. So it will not be super feasible to go on with this live video. I just wanted to share with you this uh, very key information about the Expo 2020, because in case you start talking about this event with some friends, you should know what you are talking about. You should know what this big event is about. You should know what is happening all around the world outside your country also, because you cannot just know what happens all around you in your town, in your city. You should be aware of what is going on all over the world. Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. I wish you an amazing, amazing weekend. I hope that you're gonna have an amazing Friday evening and an amazing weekend. I will get back to you very, very, very soon. And I remind you this Sunday, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, check your inbox because you're gonna receive the uh, September edition of our magazine. And inside, you're gonna find an amazing big news. Bye guys, have an amazing evening, enjoy. Bye.